Kylo asks Rey to join Kylo in ruling the galaxy after they've killed Snoke. And I just don't understand why Rey doesn't join. Let's, let's watch and analyze. Time to let old things die. Snoke, okay. Skywalker, the Sith, Jedi, the Rebels, let it all die. Rey, I want you to join me. We can rule together and bring a new order to the galaxy. Don't do this, man. Please don't go this way. No, no, you're still holding on! Let go! Do you want to know the truth about your parents? Or have you always known? You've just hidden it away. You know the truth. Say it. Say it. They were nobody. They were filthy junk traders. Who sold you off for drinking money? The dead. In a pauper's grave in the Jakku Desert. You have no place in this story. You come from nothing. You're nothing. But not to me. Join me. So the status quo has treated Rey extremely poorly. Right. She's been a scavenger on Jakku, left for dead as a child, abandoned by her parents. Trauma, difficult upbringing for mm, like days. A decade and a half, maybe a decade of yeah. just loneliness and not feeling like a part of the community. And here Kylo is saying, throw all that away. All those people that treated you like crap, throw it all away. And join me and you will be part of something i'm asking you me as kylo i'm asking you to join me i want you to join me that I, the fear of abandonment she would that she's been running away from her whole life she's now belonging to something why did she not join and it's not only belonging to something but it's belonging with a group with a peer that understands your force abilities like she can hang out with Finn and Rose and, and Poe, but like they just they won't understand her on the same level as Kylo does. That's right. So she, she should be primed for reaching out for connection. In fact, she like super rapidly wanted to reach and connect with Han. Mm -hmm. And so here's someone reaching out to her, reaching out to her. Yeah. And she says no. And it's so appealing. It's just so uh, the fear of abandonment, the lack of parental figures growing up. The fact that somebody wants to, her to join, the fact that they could make a difference in the world, the bad guy Snoke is gone. It just makes so much sense for them. And they have a dyad. It makes so much sense for them to join up and do this together. It's, it's it, not saying character flaws. I'm saying her weak points, like the, like the, mm -hmm. the points in her personality where they're really should be a softness a, a weak spot a, a point yeah. that someone could could a, a, point, a topic that's really sensitive to her there was something that's that fine. she should be reaching for fulfillment and uh, and here it is offered on a silver platter so it's it feels like she's just i'm gonna do good stuff i want to be the good person but like yeah. it makes no sense for the character of ray to not say yes here given her trauma given her character flaws given the things she needs to overcome and hasn't yet she's still like 18 she's still very young yeah yeah I, I just it, uh, i feel like yep. this to me this is where star the, the disney star wars trilogy had a turn where i was like this is the point where ray should have joined kylo and the redemption Ooh. arc for ray and kylo is to to get out of the dark side and the reason they're there is because of childhood traumas because of flaws they have in their personality and right now we've destroyed any kind of redemption arc or character development for ray it's over she's just good the whole way through that's right oh. she's just good that would have been an incredible episode nine we need a fan fiction rewrite that's right that would be incredible. Very, very great. So yeah. they both go to the Sith, and then they have to teamwork each other to turn the Sith into something good. By that, you mean climb out of the Sith and become right. good together. Together. And they have to overcome their their flaws. They have to overcome yeah. their flaws, yeah. somehow grow beyond it. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's flaws that they couldn't have handled independently. They yeah. needed each other. And a part of that for Rey is falling to the dark side, at least temporarily, but falling yeah. to it. Frustrating. Frustrating. There is a also, good story. He's the leader of the entire First Order. Yeah. That's a powerful dude. That's sexy. That is, yeah. 
I mean, he is. They're romantic. They are teetering on romance. They're teetering. Yeah, they are. So they could be this like power couple. I mean, there's just so and many things piling to, up. They don't know. have to do evil. Like, they could just be in charge of the first order and do good stuff. Like, right? Well, is it isn't that part of the appeal of the dark side? Is it gives you a lot of power from the outset that you convince yourself you're going to do for good eventually you know ends justify the means sort of things and then you fall yeah i guess i guess for example all of the first order planets are not starving like they've got the logistics figured out to handle mm -hmm. all that like that is a quantifiable good that they've done for mm -hmm. those planets and and how did palpatine convince anakin to join well through wanting to save padme that's good he thing. went through a good route, not through like, you want to do evil. He got him on a weak point. I mean, how did Palpatine get that first galactic empire set up? It was for safety and security. Safety and security. So you hit yeah. people at their weak points. That's the appeal of the dark side. It can bring order to the chaos. Gosh. And then all of those instances, the dark side offered something that the, the other, that the, the convincee, the person that needed to be convinced. Yeah. They offered something that they needed, that something that was yeah. missing their life that had some type of imperative for them to fulfill. And so so Kylo offers Ray belonging. Like belonging. Membership. Like you can be with me. And I understand you, you understand me. Mm -hmm. We can do this together. And and the power to fix the galaxy so her childhood isn't repeated. It's she just slaps so it things. away. Just no. No, I'm good. It would have been a wild episode nine. Uh, uh, would have been. Enjoying? That would have been. Yeah. That would have been groundbreaking. I think so.